Hi, I'm Lee Durrell, Honorary Director, Durrell Wildlife Conservation Trust. It's World Environment Day and I've got something important to tell you. We're here at Durrell Wildlife Park where we keep our plowshare tortoises. It was about 30 years ago and we were asked to see if we could mount a recovery program for the rarest tortoise in the world. We set up a breeding program in Madagascar and staffed it with some fantastic people who then trained Malagasy to, to carry on uh, with the work. We also did a lot of field work to try to understand the needs of this species in the wild, as well as working closely with the local people, with the local communities. And a few years later, uh, probably 20 years later, we were able to set up a, a protected area for this tortoise and start to restock it with animals that we had been breeding in Madagascar. And we were all set to go. It looked like the species was going to recover. But the current situation is pretty dire. They have, uh, it's been a species that's been uh, sought after by the illegal wildlife trade. The animals are beautiful, they've uh, got beautiful domed shells, they've got great personalities, and they are being traded, poached out of Madagascar, out of the national parks, the protected areas, and taken into the trade through Southeast Asia and into China. Uh, we've probably lost more than 30% of the wild population just in the last five years. So one thing we're able to do in Madagascar, working so closely with local communities, is to set up a system of patrols where the local people themselves go into the protected areas and report on the activities of the poachers. And I think in the long run this is something that will be able to, to help control the situation. Thirty years ago we started working with this species. I, I, Gerald Durrell asked me to be the one to kind of start the program and get it going. So I, I worked with it for, and with our people out there for 20 years. And somehow they, were, they gave me the nickname, the grandmother of the tortoise. I'm very proud of that, of course. But now it looks like I might be losing all my grandchildren.